Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Man, I have something a little bit different today. I have what is referred to by the company that makes this product. They call it a portable power station. I call it a solar generator. I guess it really doesn't matter what you call it. If you're like me, you're wondering if this thing really works and how well does it work. So that's what I want to share with you today. Now, I do want to tell you this. The company did send it to me. They gave it to me for free, but I will promise you this. I will tell you if this thing's a piece of junk. I will tell you if this thing is great. Reason why? Because I already own it. Regardless of how I feel about this thing or how I review it, it's mine. I own it. It's at my house and ain't nobody coming from China to pick it up. I will not leave a link below for you to buy one. I've never felt good about watching reviews where people say, hey, if you click on the link below, you can order one. I've just never felt good about it, not saying that people are dishonest when they do that, but to me, uh, it just kind of negates the whole purpose in giving a review if you're gonna help sell one on top of it. So with that being said, I am gonna do an unboxing, but uh, I feel like unboxing it is one of the most boring things you could sit through. I'm gonna put that towards the end of the video. That way, if you do wanna watch it, you can see what that's all about. I wanna get right down to the brass tacks. I wanna put this thing through some tests and show you or tell you whether this thing is any good or not and what I can get out of it. So the kind of test that I wanna put it through is just like I was going to use it myself in my camper and uh, whether it would do my camper needs. Now, it's very hard for me to get a good footage in my camper because it is so small. If you know my camper, it's only 14 foot long and it's very dark in there. So I'm doing the test inside my home. I'm using a deep freezer, which is the same exact wattage as my refrigerator that's in my camper. And later on, I'm also gonna be trying it with the TV. I took the TV out of the camper, brought it into the house, and plugged that into it as well. So I'm not gonna be giving you a bunch of numbers and figures of how many watts, amps, hertz, volts, and all that crap that it will use up. I'm gonna use this thing in a practical manner and show you and tell you, will this do exactly what you're expecting or needing or wanting it to do? So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Leave me some comments down below. Let's get on with it. And let's see how much charge this thing has right out of the box. Looks like it has three out of five bars. Here's Muppy, if y'all uh, hadn't seen her in a while. Ain't she cute? All right, so anyway, this thing's got three out of five bars. I am gonna plug it in right here, and let's see what it starts to do now. Oh, look at there. All right, so it's gonna go through that a little while, and I'll try to keep up with how long it takes for this thing to charge up straight out of the box like i said it had three out of five so all right well i'm looking over the owner's manual and i found one thing that uh concerns me a little bit so i'm going to point it out to you and uh, you can decide if this applies to anything that you would need this for you notice there is a cigarette lighter port on the front of this little generator system and it also says how you turn it on and off if you read this Right here it says that if you do not have any power being drawn from that cigarette lighter port over a 30 second time period, it will automatically shut off if there is no load. So uh, just need you to think about anything that you might would plug into that cigarette lighter port. If it doesn't run a continuous draw, like if it's something that shuts on and off, on and off, over an amount of time that may be troubling for you for the fact that it does cut off after 30 seconds of being in idle mode so i just wanted to point that out and i'll continue to look over the rest of the uh instruction manual and see if there's anything else i might want to point out to you so i'm going to turn it on and it has an ac power button and so i'm going to plug in my um deep freezer and let's see if the okay the light is not on so oh i forgot you're supposed to hold this down for a second and or two and then uh, you can see that it's showing ac out so now we know that we have uh power going to this ac 
and you can see that there's also a green light on and I turned it down so that it would actually turn the compressor off before I unhooked it so uh, anyway we are ready to go and we've got it uh, fully charged so I'm gonna check it in the morning it's now 2 a.m. and uh, as soon as I wake up I want to see just how many bars we still have left on here um, I had normally run this deep freezer on a uh, battery bank of six RV batteries. So I want to see how this compares to my six RV batteries. That will be kind of interesting because this is uh, lithium style and um, my RV batteries, of course, are lead acid. So be interesting to see what we get out of it. So a little later on in the video, I will give this thing a score between zero and 100 and tell you how well I think this product really is. I will also tell you whether I think I would rather have this than a generator. I will also tell you the pros and cons of this particular unit. So y'all stick around to the end. I want y'all to hear, if you can hear it, there is a fan that is kicked on to cool this thing down. Let me try to bring the uh, camera a little closer to you and see if you can hear it. I bet that doesn't even show up on here. It just turned off. I'm highly impressed with this thing. All right, so here it is, still hooked up to my deep freezer. Look at that. Man, is that impressive or what? This to me is a complete game changer on many levels. I have never owned lithium, uh, a battery like this or anything similar to this. So I am extremely impressed. This changes even how I want this video to go. I really didn't have a lot of faith in this thing, folks. I, to be 100% honest with you, I watched a video of a lady named Prepper Princess, and she did not leave a good review on this. And uh, I was, I was really not thinking this was going to be good. I'll just, I'll just tell it like it is. I really thought this thing was going to be a waste of time, but man, this is a game changer for me. And to give you another example of a game changer for me, as I told you at the start of this video. I would never leave a link down below and say, order you one of these things, because that just means that I'm telling you something to make you want to buy one. And to me, I'm not going to sell my dignity. I just don't think it is worth it. Not saying that's what other people have done, sold their dignity. It's just, that's how I feel. All right, now this is one thing that I did not like to see. It says you can get you an outdoor tent if you leave a review so basically if you write a good review a positive review i think it even says that somewhere on here you can you can uh, pause this and read it if you want to but basically they're telling you if you yeah there it is right there at the top your positive review equals outdoor tent for free see i don't like that kind of stuff so <clears throat> when i watched prepper princess do her review and I saw this right here. I thought, this thing's not going to be any good. Because they're trying to trick you into giving a good review. And uh, she didn't give a good review. But I'm, I'm telling you, this is headed in a very positive direction for me. Um, to, to know that this thing is down 20%. Now again, it gives you bars. So I'm having to guess that it's down 20%. This thing could be down 10% for all I know. It could be down 39% for all I know. So that's what I don't like about this right here. You you really don't know, will the next bar wait to fall off when it gets to 40% or does uh, one bar fall off once it's reached 5%? So that's why I don't like that right there. But anyway, I'm going to keep testing this thing and I'm going to let it get down to where it's got, uh, I'll, I'll let it get down to two bars 
and I will tell you how long it took this thing to get down to two bars because that's what it came at out of the box. It took uh, you know, a handful of hours to get this thing charged up. So I want to see how long does it take to get this down to two bars. So, uh, man, this is this is pretty cool. But I, I don't like companies seeing companies do that. That that kind of stuff right there is not cool with me. But I will go on to say this: <clears throat> I was going to leave a positive review anyway. <laughs> so I will leave a positive review, and I will see if I get a tent. And I'll tell y'all this, if this tent ever comes in, I will, uh, I will leave an update on the video. The uh, very first uh, comment I will pin to the top and I'll tell you if this tent ever came in. Because I've, uh, I've done something, I don't know, it's probably eight or ten years ago and I don't even remember what it was. But they told me to fill something out and I did and I would get... Uh, something for free i am trying to remember what in the world it was but anyway it never came in whatever it was so uh i'm i'm curious to see if this will ever even come in but i'll try it well i've run it now exactly 12 hours you can see that it still has plenty of battery power left in it and i want to do another test so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and charge this back up and uh i'll show you the uh, test that i plan on doing now so now we're gonna try test number two. And I've got it completely uh, charged back up. And again, I'm gonna run this same deep freezer. And this time I'm gonna add a 19 inch TV to the, uh, to the mix and see just how long this thing can stay going. And uh, what I wanna do is run it down to where it's got uh, two bars left. Uh, that's that's how I want to use this thing. I'd like to see, um, you know, how long it will go without completely draining it. Um, I'm not sure how well it does to drain these batteries completely down. A lot of people say with lithium, you don't have to worry about that so much. But anyway, uh, one thing I do want to point out is it did take quite a while for this thing to charge back up. So, uh, that was another thing that I have noticed that I'm not really crazy about. But uh, anyway, let's see how long this thing will run a TV and a deep freezer um, running on this little Ocmo 1000. All right, I'm going to test you to see how impressed you might be with uh, what we've got going on here or how unimpressed you may be. So again, I am running this deep freezer and running this TV on this power generator. So how long would you think that it would take for it to go from full charge down to two bars? What would you think? One hour, two hour, four hours, six hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. If you guess 12 hours, that's how long this has been going. So I am highly impressed with it, man. I tell you what, uh, I have six RV batteries that I run from my solar system on this uh, deep freezer. And there is no way that my six RV batteries would keep up with this thing. I am very, very impressed. So, uh, you know, six RV batteries is a lot cheaper than this is, but, uh, you know, this is a lot more portable. It's a lot more handy. And uh, I don't know that actually 12 batteries, probably 12 RV batteries would probably be doing about the same as what uh, I've been able to get out of this. So, man, yeah, I am very impressed. And I just want to clarify that, of course, if the sun is up, my six RV batteries, I could run this as long as I want to. But what I'm talking about is uh, as the sun has went down and um, rely just upon the battery itself as we're doing here because there's no, no uh, solar system hooked up to this whatsoever. This is not on a recharge system. This is only running by what it is holding in place. 
And now for the most awesome part of this video and this whole review, we get to unbox it. Woohoo! All right, so this thing came on a rainy day and FedEx or UPS or whoever brought it here put this thing in a very flimsy garbage bag looking thing. And I figure, hey, if y'all are really interested in unboxing, y'all probably want to see this plastic come off here. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Ta -da! All right, so let's open this box up. Got my knife ready to go. And uh, man, this thing came all the way from China. I wished I had some real dramatic music. I'm gonna see if I can't find some dramatic music to play during this unboxing. Goodness, look at here. Oh, there's cardboard. <gasps> look at that. All right. Flap those ears back. Mm, let's see what's going on there. Look at that. Piece of cardboard. All right. And they gave you four of those. Got four little corner corner guards in there. Man, for those people that get off on this kind of thing of seeing an unboxing, they ain't no telling what they're thinking right now. I have just made their day right there, getting to see that right there. All right. Like I said earlier, I sure wished I was one of them people. I wished I could get into unboxing and get all excited about it. I can tell right now I'm gonna struggle trying to do this with one arm. I'm trying to film, of course. I don't have me a lovely assistant. I have been thinking about maybe taking applications to get me a lovely assistant. I had a lovely, well, couldn't finish the word assistant, but anyway, I had, I had a lovely one of them for a good while. And she took off like all the other ones have. All right, so here we go. So we got us a G1000. Look at that box right there. Look, I even got four of those little plastic things down in the bottom, too. I wonder what good that would really be in a box. I mean, that is thin. All right, well, anyhow, let's get this thing scooted out of here. Boy, I hate that I ain't got two good arms to do this with. I hate for y'all to miss something. You know, there's going to be some big action going on. All right, I'm just going to slide that out. I ain't going to do anything, anything tricky. Let me just slide it out, and I'll pick this camera right back up all right so there we go we're done slid it out of that box now we're back to this box all right so we're gonna flap them ears back on this see if we can get this to open up mm -mm, what's under there oh another piece of cardboard all right so let's flip that back oh look at here a user guide let's see what language it came in all right it's in english that's a good start all right. I tell you what, now if I find something important like a uh, like some kind of chart that'll show you some kind of watts, volts, amps, hertz, and all that stuff, because I know that's what the the real geeks are wanting to find out. Boy, and I think I found the page right here. Look at that right there. All right, if y'all want to read that, you know you can pause it. So there you go. All right. So anyway, this thing's supposed to be a thousand watt and up to that uh spec there it says up to 1100 watts all right so we got us a, a cable here looks like that's gonna be the main electrical piece that will uh plug in and looks like this one here is part of that i would imagine this is a surge protector i would guess and looks like we got us a cigarette lighter adapter situation going on here That'll, that'll come in nice right there. That that actually is going to come in handy. Because when I plug this into my camper, what I will do is I will plug this into the cigarette lighter port inside my camper. And when the sun comes up in the morning, it will be able to charge this thing back up, I think. I'll have to do some, do some checking on that. You got to keep in mind, you're watching this video in reverse because I've... I'm doing this uh, portion last of the video. Anyway, look at that big styrofoam chunk right there. All right, there's the big power station. 
Let me see if I can lift this straight out and I'll get you right back. All right, so I slid it out of that box. Now we'll take this plastic. Look at that, boy, isn't that beautiful. How about that? I like the looks of that. Man, that's cool right there now. Boy, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with this thing. I'll have to, I'll probably watch a video or two myself before I go to reading the uh, destruction book here and see what all it's got to say. Look at there, so I just hit the power. Looks like it's uh, got a little bit of power as it came just in the box. Looks like it's pretty close to a little more than half, um, half charged up, so that's good. All right, let me take this thing in the house, get it fully charged, because I do want to see uh, what this thing's capable of doing. So, uh, man, yeah, I'll tell you what, before I do that, let me look and see if there's any more ports on this thing while I got it out here in the wide open. Because once I get this thing in my camper, you're not going to have a good view or a good angle of it. So, I want to show you that right there while we got a chance. So, all right. Okay, so the pros and cons of it. If you were using this in a camper situation and you were gonna be going, uh, you wanted to boondock, let's say at a Walmart parking lot overnight, you're on a long journey and you just wanna get about six hours of sleep, get up the next morning and head back on the road. This would be awesome that you wouldn't have to have a generator making a lot of racket outside. You could plug this thing in and uh, do a couple of things within your camper. I did read uh, somewhere, I believe it was on Amazon, somebody had said, uh, said that this thing would operate a coffee maker and a few other things, so I did not test that, but I'm sure you can find some more uh, information on the internet about this thing. If I was to show all of what this thing would be capable of using and doing for so much amount of time, man, this video would last forever. You probably already had enough of me by now anyway. Okay, so some more pros and cons of it. So uh, anyway, it is portable, it is quiet, and uh, it does have a longevity as far as being able to run. Like I run that deep freezer for, uh, what was it? I don't know, 10 or 12 hours now. It's been a, a day or so since I did the, the first part of that video. But anyway, I run it a long time, and it barely used any of the uh, the battery of just doing the, the deep freezer by itself. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, the, the, the con of it, if I had to really put a big con against it, and uh, this one would be worth probably 10 points, maybe 15 from my scale of zero to 100. It does take a little while for it to charge back up. It, uh, you know, it took um, it took right at six hours for me to get it from two battery bars back to full charge. So I was a little disappointed in that. And the reason I'm a little disappointed in it is if you think about uh, if you needed this because you had a power shortage situation, let's say our power outage. You, the only way you're going to be able to recharge it is either using your solar or you're going to have to use a generator. If you use a generator, you're going to be running that generator for about six to eight hours, and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having this type of generator. So uh, it does have some solar ports on there, and I am not familiar with that type of solar port. So that was another thing that had me a little bit confused. Uh, in the booklet, it said that it would take, uh, I believe, eight hours to charge it fully plugged into electricity, but it would take six hours to charge it using solar. And a couple of small things that uh, kind of were a con on this particular unit was it, it has the five battery bars that runs across there showing you how much battery is left. I would prefer to actually see that in a percentage base, not uh, based with those bars, because you don't know if, uh, does it wait till it's dropped all the way to 20% before one bar has fallen off, or does it fall off at 1%? So 1% uh, usage is what I'm trying to say. So uh, anyway, I would like to see that in a percentage, not just based with five battery bars. Uh, but other than that, man, uh, I, I liked it. It uh, everything was great about it. 
I believe I would really rather have this than, uh, let's say, spending that same amount of money on a Honda generator. Honda generator for the 1,000 watt is going to run you uh, right at about the same price that I saw this thing for online. The Honda generator, you got to keep gas in it. Uh, after six to eight hours, you're going to have to go outside, put gas in it, and again, it will have to be outside. This, you can bring it inside, and it's definitely going to run a lot longer than six to eight hours. You're not going to have to go to the store and get gas. If you're like me, if, if I've had a situation where I live, we have tornadoes here. So if a tornado came through, I can guarantee you I'm not able to go out and get gas to put in a generator. But I do have some solar panels, so uh, I do have a way that I could charge this thing back up uh, if, if it was uh, needed to do that. So it's got some pros and cons over the generator system. It's got some pros and cons of itself. But uh, overall, hey, I like this product. I would give it about an 85 out of 100. Not bad for a brand new product that uh, just hit the market and hadn't, uh, hadn't got the bugs worked out of it yet. I feel like from, uh, from it being a fresh item hitting the streets, it's pretty impressive. I think I read that it came out this past June, and uh, right now we're in August. So, uh, hey, I, I thought it was pretty cool. And, hey, I appreciate the company sending it to me. It was fun getting to, to review this product. And I, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I like the casing of it. I like how sturdy it is. I think you guys have done a great job with it. I'm sure that some other reviewers are going to tell you some things you might want to add, change, or do different on it. But, uh, hey, y'all y'all started off great with it, and I appreciate you sending it to me, and I wish you great success with your product. Thanks again, folks, for watching. Y'all have a great day. I appreciate it. Hope to see y'all again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.